Hi guys, this is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips and today's video is dedicated to the XRP community, especially those that participated in the XRP Flare Network snapshot on the 12th of December 2020. Now if you've been following me from even way back then when I had my other channel, then you would know that if you held XRP on that particular date and you configured your various wallets correctly, then you are due some free airdrop tokens courtesy of the Flare Network team. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I strongly recommend you go back and watch that old video and I will leave the link in the description below. But for those who are up to speed, I have some good news and some not so good news for you. The not so good news is that unfortunately, the Spark tokens haven't been distributed as yet. I know we've been waiting for quite some time, but please be patient. Now the good news is that instead of us getting airdropped one token, we're actually going to get two tokens, the Spark token as promised and a new token called the Songbird token. And the Songbird network is actually live right now and we can actually claim these tokens today. So let's learn a little bit more about this new token and network and I'm going to use this infographic to give you guys some key pointers. But the first thing you should know is that the Songbird network is a canary network to the Flare network, similar to how Kusama and Polkadot work. Basically all that means is that it is a live blockchain with its own token supply but it will be primarily used to test features like smart contracts, dApps and governance before the other network is launched, meaning the Flare network. Now this new network is in what they call an observation mode, meaning that it is allowing time for exchanges, developers and data providers to get familiar with the network structure. This observation mode is expected to last until the 27th of September, so don't expect to be able to do any trading of your tokens until that date. Now these tokens are distributed in the following ratio to all of the snapshot participants. And if you go to the XRP scan, you can see how many of these tokens you should get. The supported wallets are listed here, and for this tutorial, I'll be focusing on Exodus, Metamask, Ledger, and even treasure. One word of caution however, you should note that Flare reserves the right to roll back or take down the network and restart from Genesis at any point during this observation period. Now during the snapshot, I had XRP being held in three different locations on Exodus wallet, on my Binance account and in my Ledger hardware wallet. Let me head over to my Exodus wallet so you guys can see. Now I don't have much XRP now, but at the time of the snapshot I had a fair amount. If you go here in the settings you can see how many smart tokens I should get in the future, but it does not show me anything about my songbird tokens. So what I would need to do is go to my receive address and copy my XRP address and head over to xrpscan.com and there I can paste in my XRP address and once I click search, I should be able to get more information. Once the page loads, all I have to do is scroll down till I see the Flare tab. And once I click on that tab, I should see how many Songbird tokens I should have for this account. And it seems I'll be getting about 306 free tokens, which is never a bad thing. Now the next step involves setting up your MetaMask wallet to interact with this new network. For those of you who've never used MetaMask before, I have an introductory tutorial that you can go and watch. And from what this infographic is showing us, it seems we need to set up a custom RPC network. And thankfully, I have done that before on this channel, so I should have no trouble showing you guys what to do. But if you're an independent person and you don't want to take my word for it, I have a very good website that you can go and use to learn everything there is about setting up this network. And of course, I will leave the link in my video description for you guys to easily find it. So once you scroll down this website and you read everything you're supposed to read, this is the main part that you're supposed to make a note of. So open up your MetaMask wallet and I want you to go to the top right hand corner and then to settings. Then you head over to networks and you see these text fields that we have to edit, but first click add network. Now copy and paste the text from that website line by line into each of the fields. It should look something like this when you're finished. 
and there you can see the Songbird network has been added. Now let's go and explore the wallet itself. Now in a future video, I'll show you guys how to stake your Songbird tokens, but this would be a good time to show you guys how to add the wrapped Songbird token to your wallet as well. So let's head back to the website and if you scroll down you will see an Ethereum contract address and I want you to copy it and then head back to MetaMask. Now in MetaMask you click on add token, you paste that contract address and once you click on next you can see your wrapped Songbird tokens have been added to your main wallet. And I can accept both tokens when the time comes. But as you can see, my wallet balance is zero. So if I head back over to Exodus and I click on those three dots once again, what I want to do is get my Flare Network private key. So once I click on that, read the warning, click continue, enter my password. My private keys should be displayed on the screen. And obviously I'm not going to let you guys see my private keys, but I expect you to see yours if you follow the steps correctly. And what you want to do is to copy that private key string of text, and when we head back over to MetaMask, we go to Import Wallets, paste in your private key, and voila, your Songbird tokens are there in your wallet. Now if you want to claim your Songbird tokens from your Ledger device, just plug in your Ledger, open the Ledger Live software, and then go and ensure that you have the latest version of the software as well as the latest firmware on your ledger device. Once you've double checked all of that, the next thing to do is head over to manage your apps. And once it loads, simply type in the word Songbird and you should install the Songbird app on your ledger hardware wallet. Now once that's finished installed, you head back over to MetaMask and we're going to add an account just like we did before, but in this time we're going to add a hardware wallet. You have a choice between Ledger or Trezor. Now unfortunately, the original Ledger that I used during the snapshot is no longer working. However, I decided to restore that account on my new Trezor hardware wallet by restoring the seed phrases. But generally the process should be similar on both devices. So I'm going to click on Trezor and then continue. I'm going to allow my device to connect for this session and I'm going to export my Ethereum addresses. If I have a password, I will enter it here, but if I don't, you just simply click enter. And you should see a list of Ethereum addresses that are associated with your Trezor account. Of course, you want to select the one that has a balance and that would be my first one. And just ignore the fact that it says ETH because what it means is that you have that amount of Songbird on that account. So there you have it, your Songbird tokens have been claimed from your hardware wallet. All that's left to do now is to show you guys how to actually send these tokens. I'm gonna paste in my other wallet address, send all of them to my primary wallet. And as you can see, the process is just as simple as it is if you're sending Ethereum from one address to another. Now because it's in a hardware wallet, I have to allow the transaction and once I've done that on my device, you should see a pending transaction. Now this transaction isn't going to take very long. If I head over to my other wallet, you will probably see that my balance has increased after a couple of seconds. And there it is. Now if I head back over to my Trezor account, you can see the transaction is completed. That basically brings me to the end of this video. Now in a future video, I want to show you guys how you can stake your Songbird tokens and also what is the best mobile wallet you can use for these new network tokens. If you enjoyed the video, remember to smash the like button and click subscribe. Share this video with all of your XRP friends. And if you want to help support my channel, you can send me a tip of XRP or some Songbird tokens to these following addresses. This is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips. Thank you for watching.